How to participate in a Twitter chat? Well, I've given you a link to the Education Chats calendar. And if you are on the chat calendar, you can search by day. If I choose today, I can also choose my Eastern Standard Time and scroll down and find one that works for me. And um, there was one tonight at 8 p.m., Global Ed Chat, and that's the hashtag for it. If I want more information about these chats, all I have to do is just click on that. And it tells you this is a weekly chat covering topics related to teaching with a global perspective. So this is a good chat to get in. Hint, hint. But in case that time doesn't work for you, as you can see, there are tons of other chats. And you can see whether or not they're weekly or just by clicking on them. There are also some um, informational details on the official chat list. You can see who hosts it, what time they are. So, very useful. I'm sure you'll be able to find a chat. So let me just show you one. When I'm in Twitter, I can uh, just use this search bar right up here and I'm going to um, put in the hashtag of the chat that I'm going to be participating in. And I will see this pop up, this big blue bar. And it will show me the top tweets that happened in that chat. Tweets are rated as top when people like them with a little heart. Um, that kind of raises them up to the top list. But you want to focus on latest Okay, the latest shows you the live stream of all the people that are chatting. Now, we're not necessarily following one another, but we are all using this hashtag. So even though we're not following each other, we are participating in the conversation. So I'm going to just kind of scroll all the way back um, to see where it actually began because they happened so quickly. The people who were hosting this chat are Squirrel. Squirrel's right there. You want to follow whoever the moderator is. That does make it easier to follow the chat. So make sure you follow them and they're going to ask questions. So the first question is generally um, an introduce yourself question and you'll see that this picture right here is question five. Some of them have just five questions. Some of them have many more questions. But on question five, they always put the question Q5 to let you know what question it is. And, um, and they normally post a picture with a question on it. So um, the answers to this you will see, since that was a question, you will see answer five. Here's Adam. Answer five. That's how he answers it. So Putting the A and the A4 and the A3, that just goes along with whatever question they asked. So when you're answering a question, just make sure you put that in front of it because it's all happening so quickly in real time that you might be still answering question two and other people are on question four. But, um, you know, it's easy to keep it nice and organized that way. So if I scroll back, you can see this was the question five. And you can see all the answers um, that everybody put in. Here's one that um, I put in. And this was for question four. So there's my answer four. Here was question four. So the latest tweets are always going to be on top. And you kind of have to scroll backwards. Um, so it's great if you are going to participate in a Twitter chat that you're there on time and ready to go so that you don't miss the questions as they're happening. And um, if you've looked at the information about the chat, okay, any of the information about what they talk about, you might be able to formulate some discussion items in, in the chat. Um, that you can ask or answer or offer to everyone else that is participating. So prepare yourself. Be on time. Make sure you've got the hashtag. Get in and make sure you're organized and you answer it. The way that you're going to prove to me that you were in the Twitter chat 
is um, I can just look at your Twitter because I've made a list of everyone in the class and I can see when I look at the list what everyone in the class is actually tweeting about. So I will actually see your answers right there and so it's really not necessary for you to screencast or take screenshots as long as you're on the um, Twitter handle that you shared with me, I'll be able to see that you were active and busy. 